e-commerce around um, different products and brands in and around golf. And that's really where a lot of the, the, the attention turns because that's where the money is. So in the end, the NBA and the NFL and all those people, they're not anything without the broadcast rights and the, and the advertisers and the sponsors that get into that space. And then all the people that, that are fans of that, that then buy those products and support that industry in a roundabout way. So we're starting to see some of that stuff from the non-technical realm, which is exciting. So, you know, when you start to see a Coca-Cola or you start to see a Mercedes-Benz sponsor some of these bigger events, it's not just the Intels and the NVIDIAs and the Microsofts. Those make sense. You know, like if, I, if I'm Microsoft, of course I'm going to support it because I want people to buy my Xbox. But if I'm Mercedes-Benz, how does supporting this sell more cars? Well, it is now more mainstream. You know, you look at these kids, I say kids because I'm old, but you look at these kids that are playing in, in, in high school and college, they're gonna be the next group that goes up and becomes professionals and has a salary and they're gonna pick what car they wanna buy. I'm gonna pick Mercedes-Benz because they sponsored ESL in uh, Europe. You know, that's what I'm gonna pick because they're, you know, they're, they support esports and I, I've seen that brand and I remember that brand. Those companies like Geico and those places are starting to do that. So we see that really coming full circle. I did wanna say real quick, the problem that I've seen from a lot of the colleges that are contacting us for software is there's a lot of disconnect in the college realm as to whose program this is. And I know, like Noah, you probably could talk about this, but you know, so I'll, have, I'll get a call from uh, maybe the engineering department, I'll get a call from admissions, or I'll get a call from athletics, hey, we were, we're thinking about this, but they get caught up in that administrative nightmare of whose project is this? Is this something that should be an athletic event? Is this something that should be academic? Is this something that should be admissions? And they're really trying to sort that out. And I think that's the only barrier we see right now, not to be a Debbie Downer on the positivity of eSports, but until people figure out whose project this is, all of these schools can't figure out, okay, who's gonna write the check and who's gonna be in charge of this department? Who's gonna manage these kids and coach these kids through this program? So hopefully that gets sorted out. Some universities have just, taken four departments, put them together, and gone for it, and I applaud that, because at least they're doing something. But until we see this become, and, I, and maybe it's NCAA that decides it or not, but somebody's gotta decide whose project this is, and until that happens, that's kind of our current blockade that we've gotta get over. Does NCAA have a director of eSport right now? Uh, yes, I think they have somebody researching it, but I don't think it's officially anybody that's been appointed in a position. Um, you know, it's similar to what Cody's gone through and seen in the NBA. Like, I applaud the NBA because they went for it. You know, they didn't really know what was gonna happen. They just made a decision to go for it. And they're kind of making the rules as they go along. But if you sit back and you just think, well, we're gonna let everybody else sort it out, then everybody doesn't know what to do. You know, like, which direction do we go? Yeah, so that, that's on 